victims! Yes, mistress. We have an intruder. Find whoever's flying this thing. When you're first learning Temple, it can be one of the more confusing levels in the game because there's so many turns. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually one of the more fun levels to grind, in my opinion. Your loadout will be a Super Dragon and Mines. You'll also be doing an unarmed start on this level. There are two enemy cycles for this level that are doable. There's the one where there's a guard immediately to your left out here. And then there's one where the guard will just be like down a random hallway as you turn corners. The one that really just doesn't work is the one where there's a guard on the bridge. For that one, when you you know when you get a hang, get the hang of which cycle you're on, for that one I would recommend just practicing explosive cover for this route. But immediately out here, you'll make a left and start hacking the panel with your data thief. If you're on the enemy cycle where there's a guard right here, you just have to hope he doesn't shoot you. I've, I've had a lot of luck, though, with him not shooting me right here. That's why I say that that's a doable cycle on this level. So this part can be kind of tricky, but what you're going to do is punch this crate to one way to the right and roll through it immediately while you're turning left so that you make your way towards the door that's uh, at the bottom four that we're about to drop to. After I show it here, I'll show it slowed down a bit so you get a better idea of the timing and when to roll. Now this door up here, just like all the doors in Temple, open automatically. So what's probably best to do up here is to kind of hang to the left a bit next to the wall because there's less guards that are able to shoot you right there. Now we make a right here to go down this hallway, and you'll notice two parts of the four that are patched up with wood. You want to roll onto those so that they don't break out from under you when you run over them. You take a left up here, and there's going to be this long hallway with these weird things shooting fire on the sides of the walls. I don't really know how to exactly explain how you run through without getting burned. I've just kind of gotten a feel of it, but if you do get burned, it's not really that much of a problem because it's his agent. Once you get out here, you'll take a right and then you'll go into the first door you see. If you're on the cycle that I said in the beginning of the video was just like almost unplayable for this route, there will be a guard at the end of that bridge who will, I mean, he can very, very rarely not land a single shot on you, but from my experience, he almost always does. So if you're running explosive cover for a temple also, I would just go to mission select and just equip the loadout for explosive cover on this level. The reason that this is the best cycle for this level is because this guard almost always cowers in fear when you run around the corner. I would still punch him as you run through though because you don't want him firing and alerting any of the other guards that you might run by in a little bit. Now once you get out of here you'll make a left and then you'll make a left through the first door that you see. And when you run through the, there's going to be like spike traps everywhere. When you run through those, don't worry about dying. You're not going to. One thing I will say, though, is that the spikes are like disproportionately loud compared to everything else on the level. So just be warned if you have headphones. I'll probably end up muting them or turning down the volume for that part of the level in this video. Now take a left out here and you'll go through the door right in front of you. Now 
there's going to be three guards somewhere along this path. Where exactly they're going to spawn is pretty random. Sometimes one will spawn at the beginning, while the other two will spawn near the end. Or sometimes one will spawn at the beginning, one will spawn in front of the door at the end, and then one will spawn in the room that you have to go into. It can be any variation of those two, or any mixture of them. It's really weird. I don't understand it. Now you take a weft up here, and once you cross the bridge and you're in front of the lasers, you press right on the D-pad to pull out your cam spy. Do not press right on the D-pad more than once to pull out the cam spy, or this weird glitch will happen where Joanna will pull her hands back up right when she's about to pull it out, and she'll freeze like that for a second, and it takes forever for her to actually get the cam spy out, and it's really annoying, so just try to avoid that at all costs. Just follow my cam spy movement here, and don't worry about it falling in that pit. Uh, with the route I use, it, it kind of floats for a second once you drive it off a ledge, so it's it's not really it's not really like you're gonna fall that easily. Don't skip the cutscene too quickly here because it'll just teleport you back to where you started once you start running for a bit. Um, just wait until she pulls up the cam spy and you are looking at her face from its perspective, and that's pretty much the safest time to wait till. Our goal in this fight is to eliminate the first wave of phantoms fast enough to set up the mines to kill the second wave as they spawn in. Now, this fight can't be done any faster than the second wave actually spawns in, so if you take a bit to kill the first wave, it's fine so long as you have time to set up the mines for the second wave. This phantom specifically can be really weird. Sometimes he'll take a while to actually get around that corner, or sometimes he'll immediately run left to the center of the arena. You want to take him out as quickly as possible though and try not to get shot by him because the other phantoms are all bunched together around that left corner up there. And if you take too long to get over there, they'll all spread out and it'll be impossible to take them out really quickly. Now we take out our super dragon and we turn left to eliminate the last of the first wave of phantoms. Be mindful that one of them will sometimes run left and try to cross the bridge. And also, one that's like way at the end of this little section will sometimes take a while to actually run around the corner. So you'll have to probably wait around for a second if you know that you didn't get him yet. Now you're going to switch to your mines and place them where the second wave of phantoms spawn in. You'll notice here that I didn't actually take out all of the first wave of phantoms, so I have to use one of my mines to take them out. So after this, I'll be showing another run where the false fight's actually done correctly. And that'll be the end of the level and the end of my 12th tutorial on Perfect Dark Zero individual level runs. Thanks for watching.